Hello Virgo, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. And if you're a returning soul, welcome back. Okay, Virgo. All right, Virgo, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So if you have Virgo in any of those placements in your chart, this should just about be the reading for you, okay? Keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general. So just keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. Don't go manifesting what is not meant for you, okay? And uh, please do subscribe if you have done so yet. Click the like button, especially if you enjoy this reading. And uh, leave me a comment, please let me know what you think. All of that helps my channel grow and I always like to hear feedback from my viewers, okay? And last but not least, Virgo, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below this video. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can uh, contact me. There's no, there's no other way. And that I do not reach out to anyone offering my services. So please be aware of any scams, okay? All right. And uh, Virgo, this reading will be published on the day of a new moon in Pisces and Aries. It will be on the cusp of both signs. Last new moon was on Pisces, but this time it will be on the cusp of both Pisces and Aries. More going into the Aries side, but that's pretty much the energy that I'm going to try to focus on. And um, But like I said, uh, my readings are timeless, so it doesn't mean that you have to watch this video exactly in the moment of that new moon, okay? Best time for you to watch this video is when you come across it. And Virgo, um, I hope that all these astronomical and astrological shifts and placements have been nice and kind to you. Boy, have been, they have been heavy for me. I've had so much lack of energy. All I want to do is sleep. I feel like doing nothing. But I got to do the readings and deliver the best I can. Everybody in the collective is just most, mostly Pisces are the ones that are feeling it. Everybody's just lacking energy and I even get, I even got vitamin B12 shots. So if you've been feeling that way, maybe you want to check your vitamin levels. You could always go with a professional. Okay, Virgo, the heart of the matter, what this reading will be about, for some of you, it's the current energy that you're dealing with. Nine of Pentacles, okay, that's, that's you right there. Strong Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy, okay, that's Earth energy. That's you, feeling abundant. Expressing gratitude, trying to trust, trying to be confident within yourself, with the process, trying to listen to your intuition, okay? Because she's got that hawk on her hand, it's perched on her hand, but the hawk has a hood on her head, on its head, and uh, it's a blinded hawk. That's your intuition, okay? Just take the hood off of it. Let it fly. Don't be afraid. Be confident. But this is you expressing gratitude and staying very grounded. It's almost that pre empress energy. I don't usually see her as a, like the Empress or like the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, they are more motherly energies. She's not, she's more like a daughter, okay? She's like the universe's daughter. Or she's the daughter of the Emperor and the Empress. 
or the queen and king of pentacles, okay? Someone who's being watched over. But who knows what they have. And in a way, even being humble, but expressing gratitude. Virgo, the energy that is crossing you, and it could be challenging you, is the full card, okay? So we're having trouble. Probably it's that intuition. Taking a leap of faith, okay? Maybe it's the, it's the confidence, okay? So you're wanting to take a leap of faith for a new beginning, a new start, but something's holding you back. And it could be that self-confidence, it could be your intuition. You're not too sure about things, okay? You feel that you will fall off from that cliff, but it could be just an illusion. It could just be in your mind. It's like the movie The Matrix when they're telling them, jump, jump, jump. And he doesn't, and he goes back into the wind through the window. It's pretty much something like that. Sometimes the things things are not the way as they seem. So you have to trust. The energy that is crowning you in your conscious mind, and you do see clearly, is the three of wands. Okay? So you're waiting. You're waiting for your ships to come. You're waiting for a sign. Okay? That's okay. Maybe it's you're waiting for that reassurance. We've got a lot of yellow here. It's that confidence. Three cards with a lot of solar plexus. Just don't sit too long waiting for the right moment, okay? You can get stuck and miss a chance. Maybe you just have to take that jump, okay? The energy that is below you in your subconscious mind and you don't see clearly, but this is what you should because this is what the universe is trying to tell you. Knight of Swords. Take charge. Move forward. Do it. I think they're telling you that you already have the clarity. Or things will become clear once you start moving. You see, when we stop and just wait, things become hazy and we get clouded by our doubts and insecurities because then that's when we let our brain kick in and it starts playing against us, okay? So I think you're, getting, you're being totally, tro uh, strongly advised here to just take charge. Do it, move, you are free to do so. The energy behind you, for some of you it's your recent past, but this is what's happening behind the scenes where it's pushing you through this energy, is the Page of Cups, okay? This is an energy, very tricky, but in this case, I believe that you are tired of dealing with something or even yourself, your own energy, of just not having the things the way you want them to be or not knowing what you truly want and desire, not being true and loyal to yourself. And it's because, I believe, because of your intuition. Maybe even emotionally, you haven't addressed, learned 
or you weren't addressing your emotions properly. And that also blocks your intuition. I think you're tired of that energy. It's like false promises. But not just within yourself. I mean, this could be in any sense, okay? I just read the energy. You have to apply that. Well, you have to apply everything the best way it fits in your situation, okay? Maybe someone has promised you something and you're just waiting and waiting. You don't have to do that. It's time to move. Time for a new beginning. Okay? Because you're seeing your self-worth. You're understanding who you truly are. The energy that's in front of you what is coming towards you or where you're headed to or near future is the Five of Swords. You're walking away. That's good. You're walking away from what isn't worth fighting for, standing up against for. And it's not the lost battle, it's just, I'm tired. I'm tired of fighting against these energies. And some of them could be just in your mind. It's like, it's a sense of, I give up, but like, it's like, I'm done. I'm handing it over to the universe so that the universe can take care of it for me while I do my work on myself and prepare myself for this new beginning. You have to move. This is how you see yourself or how you're responding to the situation. It's very powerful energy. So if you really see yourself like this, then act like that. Listen to your intuition. Connect to your higher self. Have faith. Trust in the divine. Okay? Don't be afraid of what you can of what you cannot see. Trust yourself, Virgo. You're being supported here. The energy that's surrounding you and it's influencing you. It's the Queen of Cups. That's strong Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, but it's mostly Spices. I was going to say Spices. And this is someone who has stepped up into their divine feminine energy. And it doesn't matter what gender you are, okay? And, and tarot is never gender specific, okay? This is someone who has seen their true value. This is someone who is emotionally balancing themselves. Okay? Knowing that they have the most beautiful cup of all the cups. Some healing. But it's more of a self emotional reflection here. <laughs> and self emotional value. A lot of self-love. That's what's kicking in here for you. It's like you're growing. Your hopes and fears. Five of Cups, okay? You're hoping to leave behind the false promises, what never worked out for you, okay? And to release that sense of things that don't work out in your favor. Well, 
if you were in this energy in your past, where you were dealing with people or energies like this around you, that's what they usually bring to the table for us. Just loss. That's in your mind, your hopes and fears. It's just, you will be able to, to, to release this energy, okay? You're just hoping to do so, but you will. Because you see yourself in a very high divine power. Virgo, the outcome or the advice, which I usually take more as advice, five of wands, okay? Get yourself out of a mental conflict. Don't deal with this energies anymore. Don't lower your vibration to this. It's not worth it anymore. That's why you see that it's better to just leave those things to the divine. Let the divine deal with that nonsense while you are ascending. Okay? Five of swords and five of wands. That's ten. It's almost like a ten of swords, ten of wands energy. And we have a five of cups. There's a lot of, of, of five, three fives here. If you've been seeing fives, that, 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 that's a strong sign for you, okay? That's almost, the, almost, but that's the nine of swords, okay? Release the conflict, okay? Don't stress. Don't stress anymore. It's not worth it. Don't lower your vibration. Okay? Don't overthink things. Don't let things play with your mind. Okay? You're off to a new quest. Protect yourself. There's that Empress energy. Okay, Virgo, I don't need to clarify anything. It's pretty clear to me. It should be to you too. Okay? All right, Virgo. I want to leave it there for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and answers that you're seeking at this moment of your life. If you enjoyed this reading, please do click the like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And as usual, please always stay safe. Be happy. Okay. And stay very, very blessed. Goodbye, Virgo.